My uh, Tiger Moth experience flying from Cape Town to Tavazimbi with my dad in 1978. We both had our pilot's licenses and uh, we went to fetch this uh, wonderful piece of art. And I'm just sharing my experience flying from there to Tavazimbi the first time. And uh, it is quite an experience flying a Tiger Moth. It's a wonderful piece of uh, creation. And it does matter how you fly it. It's not like the modern aeroplanes where you just apply the power and it's all just there. You have to slowly, very slowly work the power up a little bit, centimeter by centimeter or inch by inch. If you just apply the power at once, it revs up and it goes and you have no more power. The engine just quits on you. So you have to like slowly work it, work it up all the way. And then it's pretty cold up there uh, flying. And something that I find very interesting about the Tiger Moth, it has an effect of control. It has a lot of movement on the controls. You don't just touch it with your finger and it goes and it, and it swerves to where you want it to go. You have to like really apply a lot of movement on the stick and then it goes. And then it also what happens is you turn like 90 degrees and it still goes straight. You have to like pull on the stick to get it going around and apply a lot of rudder as well. So flying from there on the way we have met a VW Volkswagen on the road and we were like in competition with it on a straight and level road there in the Karoo. And uh, the wind was from the front. And as we fly a little bit higher than the fence, the VW will make it gaining uh, way on us. If we go down low, touching the brushes with the wheels, we were gaining. So it was quite an interesting flight doing it that way. And I also bought a, a uh, packet of uh, uh, peanuts covered with uh, chocolates. So with all the gloves on, I was sitting in front and my dad was flying from, the, from, the, from behind. I opened this packet and as I opened the packet like this, there's a vacuum in the cab for the wind going over the top. The, the sweets, the chocolates, the peanuts just go out of the cabin like a train, like a string of pearls just going out. So I closed it up. Now I have to get it out somehow into my mouth, so I took the glove off and I couldn't just leave it, it will go as well. So I have to put it under my, my bum and then I have to open And every time I open it, there's a lot of chocolates going out. So I decided, okay, I'll eat it that way. And when we got uh, to the end of the day there, I came out, I said to my dad, no, this engine is leaking oil. Not much, but it's constantly sweating and I'm sitting right behind the engine and I'm breathing this all the time and I don't feel well. I don't have a problem with air sickness or sea sickness, but this is not for me. I actually said to my dad, I'm going to hitchhike back home. He can fly the plane back home. So he said, no, 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 you don't do that. I said, why? He said, no, you must first come and help me. There's so many bolts and nuts that has come from this plane, coming past me at the back, that this thing must should be falling apart. And we went and we looked, but I forgot about the sweets. Every time I open that packet, there's a string of bolts and nuts going past him. And that was what he was seeing. But we had a great laugh after all. I know it's a wonderful aeroplane, it glides easy, and once you get it going, it's going very well. Enjoy.